when I was going through everything, people thought I was crazy. And I don't think they thought I was crazy because I was consuming cannabis. They thought I was crazy because I'd rather consume cannabis than play football. But when I did the math, cannabis did a lot more for me than, than football did. Hey, I'm Ricky Williams, and these are my 10 essentials. So this is my favorite ginger beer, but I'm a huge ginger beer fan. And I found ginger on my first trip to Thailand. A woman asked if I wanted some ginger tea, and I said, sure. I remember drinking it and feeling that burn in the back of my mouth and thinking, oh, this is awesome. And after I started studying more about herbs, I found out that ginger is great for the tummy. It's good for digestion and it's a diaphoretic, which means it makes you sweat. If you're checking out ginger beer for the first time, be careful because you might wake up in a pile of sweat. And I like Bundaberg just because it's the coolest packaging. It's the coolest bottle. You kind of feel like you're really drinking beer. I mentioned earlier that I studied herbalism and this is one of my favorite formulas. Also has a little bit of ginger in it. It's called Bao He Wan. It's a Chinese formula. The translation in English is preserve the harmony pill and it's preserving the harmony of the stomach. In Western medicine, we don't really think of food stagnation, but it's that feeling when you eat too much and you feel the food is stuck. This actually supports your body's natural digestive processes. So love this stuff. To me, the main point about herbalism is it, it's really about working with the body and treating the body before you get sick. You know, the Chinese say, if you give someone medicine after they've, they've gotten sick, it's like forging weapons when the battle's already begun. You're a little bit late. Rolling papers. Now there's a bunch of different types of rolling papers. These are Heisman papers, so I'm especially partial to them. I talked about herbs earlier. You can dry any herb, really that's healthy for you and crumble it up and put it in this paper and roll it up and then you have something uh, to combust. So my first involvement with cannabis came growing up in San Diego, it was, it was pretty much everywhere. I also grew up in the 80s and 90s and so I learned to say no to drugs. <laughs> and then I got into college, I had a couple of really bad games, this was going through a lot of personal stuff and my roommate suggested that I hit his bong a couple of times. You know, when you're really desperate, you're willing to try anything. And so I said, sure. Surprisingly, you know, uh, I experienced really positive effects. The first thing that I noticed was I wasn't obsessing about my bad games or my personal problems. And in that, that clear mind space, I started to think about the, the upcoming games. Next two games after that experience, I had back-to-back 300-yard -back rushing games, ended up winning the Heisman Trophy and breaking the all-time rushing record. The power of that experience, you know, it, it overrode all of the conditioning about saying no to cannabis. And it showed me that I was lied to and there was something else going on than, than what we were taught. There were more parts to me than just being a football player. And so I took advantage of the opportunity and I retired from the NFL and got a chance to travel the world and and study herbalism. And so starting this brand was was really motivated by the fact that when I was going through everything with cannabis, there was no one, I couldn't find anyone telling uplifting or positive stories about cannabis. And I wanted to make sure that the next generation, there is at least one person. Other thing is everyone needs papers, you know, especially if they smoke joints. You know, part of my training and uh, what's called a, as a ganjier, a uh, connoisseur of cannabis, in general is how to appreciate quality. The first stage to appreciating quality is you have to know what to look for. And so this is a jewelry loop. Keep my loop wherever I go. When I look at flower, I look to see how, how well was this flower grown and how well was this flower taken care of. Handy dandy iPhone. The essential here is my app. It's an app called Leela. Leela is a Sanskrit word that means divine play. One of my other jobs is I'm a professional astrologer. And as I've learned more and more about astrology, it's like the planets are playing all the time. I think the main aim for astrology for me is to help people feel seen. Typically people only see the parts of ourselves we're comfortable showing them, but astrology helps us look underneath the hood and see what's really there. And I think when we appreciate the inner parts of ourselves, we usually feel better about sharing them with other people consciously, because typically the parts we don't like, we share them unconsciously and people close to us have to deal with them. And so I created Leela to help people deal with themselves and deal with the people they love. I love technology. A lot of people think they have too much screen time. 
my screen time is really all about books. I love to read and my Kindle app, I think I have 3,000 books or something. It's pretty insane. It's just books, 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 books. And no, I haven't read all the books. I've opened all the books. And I use them more as reference material. There's really only probably three genres and they're all kind of under one. I'd say the, the overarching genre is self-help. But inside that, there's like spirituality, yoga, meditation. Probably the most books are on astrology. Yeah, a lot of esoteric, woo-woo kind of stuff. I spend a lot of time on my laptop. Two reasons. One is I do a lot of Zoom calls because I am a professional astrologer and I do about 50 to 60 readings each month. And I love it. I actually prefer Zoom because I can take the cursor and I can show people what the chart actually looks like and I can show them what I'm talking about. And then the other thing I do um, on my computer is because when I first launched Lila, I knew nothing about apps. I just knew it was something that I wanted to create. And so as we started working with the, the dev team who knew nothing about astrology, there is a big language barrier. And I figured it's going to be much harder for them to learn astrology than it is for me to learn a little bit of coding. And if you learn the basics, you can actually start to create your own app. I'll do like future work and try to play with different things so that I can hand them over to the dev team and say, this is what I've been working on. Can you guys clean up the code and make it work? But also, to help me learn things in the books that I'm reading. I'll just create little apps for myself. Like I'm learning tarot and I created a tarot app to help me learn the meanings of the cards. I created a meditation app. I created an app to help my son keep track of his, his football cards. My whole life I've always wanted to be a creative, but I never really had any artistic ability. I'm a creator now and almost like an, an inventor. And it's cool when I'm on the airplane coding and you know people look at me and they see a big football player and they're like, what are you? Are you coding? Yep, I sure am. I've had these for a while, my Gucci slides, and they're just classic. My style of, of dress is shabby chic. I like to dress simply, you know, and you can do them with socks or without socks. You can wear them with jeans, you can wear them with sweats, you can even wear them with nice pants. And even though they're old and increased, you still got the, the, the Gucci tag on the back and so people leave me alone. And they're comfortable. And people assume, assume they're, they're Vans and they look, ah, oh, I love these. And I typically replace them about every five years. I think I have another year or two on these. It doesn't get too cold in Southern California, but we launched in Massachusetts last year, and so I've been making trips over there, and so Beanie comes in handy. I grew up being a, a big fan of Nike. I was a big Bo Jackson fan, and that Bo Nose, those Bo Nose commercials, oh, I love them, because they were for his cross trainer. And when, whenever I could afford to get a pair of cross trainers and I put them on my feet, I felt like I ran faster. And we just came out with these beanies a couple of months ago, and I love them. You can keep the, the top on if you like, you know, but for me, I tend to rip it off. Because when you rip it off, you can wear it like a regular beanie. Yeah. Or sometimes I'll put all my hair up in it and the back will kind of tuck it in. This is why I take the top off. You know, then it becomes like a little Rasta hat. I like to keep it simple with the apparel. So as you see, I'm wearing the long sleeve tee right now. We've got the Heisman logo. I think it's comfortable, cotton, high quality, and got the reminder on the back to spark greatness, you know? And as a football player, we spent our whole day thinking about how to get better, how to get better, how to get better, how to be great. When I went home and consumed cannabis, it didn't just stop. I just got deeper. I asked in a, on, a, on a deeper level, how can I be great? That was my experience with cannabis and that's what I'm here to share with people. All right, this is definitely an essential for a couple of reasons. One, because I travel a lot, climate changes depending on where you are, and I have a predilection for dry lips. When I was a kid, they used to make fun of me and call me ring around the lips because I would lick my lips. And so my mom would always yell at me, where's your chapstick boy? And so I think it finally stuck. Thanks for watching. I'm Ricky Williams. Peace out.